Hey guys, hope you all are good. Welcome to another interesting video on our Be Aware channel. So let's begin. Hello all, welcome to another interesting video on our Be Aware channel. Today we are going to begin a new series in Flexim for learning process flow. So we are going to create a different and new playlist on our channel in which we will be placing all the videos related to learning process flow in Flexim. So today is our first video on this and we are going to learn token creation entities into the Flexim for process modeling. So let's begin. So this is our Flexim background and in order to begin with the process flow first time we need to go into the process flow tab which is mentioned at the top here. When we click on the process flow there are multiple and other options but currently we will go into the general process flow and the, we will click on the process flow. Once we click on that we get this blank page here at the right side and when you double click you can also access the entities when you double click in this white area or else you can also have it in the library at the left end. So now when you need to switch between the process flow entities and the object entities you need to click in this background and you will have the library uh, entities listed here. These are the object entities and when you want to have fixed resource entities you need to click in this white space and you will have those entities listed here. So initially we are going to discuss on token creation. So let's drag this inter arrival source into the process flow. You can also double click in the white area and take this inter arrival source from here. But we will go with the traditional method currently. So we have dragged from this process flow library. This is our first entity in the token creation that is source and that is inter arrival source. We are having four types of sources here, inter arrival, scheduled source, date time source, event triggered source. Now let us first understand the major difference between process flow and conventional method. So there are two types of methods by which we can create a model in Flexim. One is the traditional conventional method by which you can code inside the object entities you can make the connections a connections s connections q connections there is another method that is process flow method where you can play around logic creation inside this process flow so there is no need to create a connection also there is no need to create a code inside object entities also everything can be process flow driven but mostly we use the combination of both that is some parts of the modeling which are easier are done in conventional methods by using the conventional method and some are done by using process flow so we always use combinations of two but yes we can do whole model conventionally or else whole model with the help of process flow so now we are having this process flow entity in the process flow here. So this is the inter arrival source we have. If you look at this, we have two options here. We can disable it or else we can enable it depending on our requirement. There are also another entities here. You can edit the font and the color for it. You can check out the, these are basically the statistics for this process flow entity. And you can also click on this question mark to analyze or learn about this from this tutorial. So this is we have as of then there is arrival at zero. So in the source video which we have already created on our channel you might have seen that it, there also we are having the same option to use inter arrival at zero. So it is similar but we are having this in process flow. So if you check this, the first token will be arriving at zero second or zero minute depending on your model units. So basically what is token now? In the process flow the token is very important term being used. The token is nothing but a round circular entity which runs across the process flow. You will see that 
in our upcoming videos when we will be creating a complete process flow and running it we will have that token so that is basically a type of a uh, entity which runs across the process flow which is traceable trackable and we can also assign labels to that so this is that so when we click this our token will be arriving at zero minute so that would be at instance then we have inter arrival time logics to be applied in this window so here we can apply different statistical distributions we are having different options that can be used depending on your requirement and then we can also assign a token name here in this entity depending on our requirement so this is all about inter arrival source when we go to schedule source we see that there are lot many more features which are available as compared to inter arrival then when we come in this schedule source there is one additional point that is offset time so basically what is this offset time it defines the offset time for arrivals to begin so basically it is the difference of time from when your source will start to run so if you make it five your source will run after five seconds or minutes when your model runs so if i run the model at zero my the source will start calculations from fifth of second so this is what the offset time means there are another features you can apply depending on your requirement here if you want to repeat the schedule now we can apply a schedule here basically as this is a schedule source the schedule can be applied if you plus 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 we are having these entities to be entered here we need to put the time first second second third second fourth second i need to have this entity so this is sku1 then i need to have this sku2 and then sku3 and then sq4 so basically we are entering the name here we are entering the quantities here so sq1 will have one we can change it we can change it this can be seen basically in this below uh, box here so you can also edit here you can also edit here so we are having now four sku's in our schedule now if you want to repeat the schedule so one two three four again one two three four you can hit this so the schedule will go on repeating and your tokens will get on generate thing so this source one two three four what does it mean it is that on the first second i will have sq1 second second i will have sq2 third second i will have sq3 so this is how this works and if you put the offset it would be sixth second sku then i will have on the seventh second i will have sku2 on the eighth i will have sku3 and on the ninth second i will have sku4 this is how this table works and this offsetting works you can also assign the labels to the token here so whichever token is created you can assign the name to it you can also assign a value to it we also have a drop down for more features to be used depending on a requirement that can be used so this is inter arrival source and schedule source in token creation area we will now create a small model and check how it works in the next video we will be learning data time source and event triggered source so let's begin for the modeling purpose this will begin with inter arrival source so the magic of the process flow you will see now so i am just dragging a queue and you can see i can directly create a part inside the queue without any source so now the source is available in the process flow but not available by using the source so the parts are created by using this source now so i'll just put end arrival time as a two second of seconds and i'll just create a model in the queue and then i'll put this in say sync this is how this comes to sync now you can see this is the process flow i'll just hit a reset and i'll just make this run time somewhat faster and i'll make this run so you can see here you are able to see that two parts for two seconds then i'll have three parts for three seconds four parts for four seconds and so on this is going uh 
our inner arrival time we have entered two so every two seconds we are going to have parts coming in inside this queue i'll just stop this model and you can look at this this is what we have discussed is token so these are the tokens which run across the process flow the values are traceable we can trace the values from this token we can apply the labels to the token the whole game in the process flow works only on the tokens so we need to play with the token to run in the process flow so this is our model created by using this inter arrival source now we will make same scenario with the schedule source so what i'll do is i'll delete this arrow and i will divert the tokens from this source to this create object and then sync so create object is same q1 but the source is changed now so i'll just make this is offset so you need to see that when i make the stop time as say 2.1 what is supposed to be is we need to have three parts so we need to have three parts as our offset time goes to zero i'll just run this and i let this so what do you see we have three parts in the queue because first second we need to have two parts we have that second second we need to have one part that we have so we have in total three parts now now let's say what i'll do is i'll offset this time say five seconds and i'll make the stop time to 7.1 and if you reset this and if you run this you need to have three parts after 7.10 seconds so here it is three parts we are having it so this is how schedule source works we are going to learn more about data time source and event triggered source in our next upcoming video so stay tuned stay learning stay simulating jai hind